Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to focus on how to copy and paste values uh, or data, should I say, uh, using Excel VBA. So we're going to go over a couple of different methods um, and yeah, just basically try and cover off as much as we can in, in relation to copying and pasting information in Excel. So what we will be doing, um, all of our previous videos, if you haven't seen any of those, um, by all means go check them out. There's a link to the playlist uh, below this video as well. Um, so it's very beneficial to check all those out. Um, but if you haven't seen those videos, you will you will find out when you watch them that we've been coding all of our uh, VBA script into a module. So this module one here, uh, it's not here by default. You have to go insert module. But for the initial part of this video, we're actually being, going to be coding within the actual sheet itself. So the benefit of doing it within the sheet is we're able to kind of ex remove some of the need for some code in terms of referring to the sheet we want to be in. Uh, this is just going to serve as beneficial, I guess, as an initial learning curve and also help me to get you started on how to do copy and paste. But we will go into the module bit at the end of this video um, just to show you how that all works and how you can bring that together. So obviously make sure you do watch the end of the video so you get that detail as well. So all we need to do to go into our sheet one, or it could be any sheet that your information and you're within, is just double click on the sheet one. And then we're gonna put a subroutine in here and we'll call this uh, demo copy. Um, and do that. And as you all know by now, because I always half a lot about it, is you can call your subroutine anything you like. Obviously, best practice is to name it something of relevance so that you can uh, easily uh, find it or, or, or know what the contents of that subroutine actually are going to do. So the most simple and basic way we have to copy is by doing uh, this first piece here. So we can literally go range, open brackets, and again, for those who have seen previous videos, you'll have known I've always defined what sheet we're using first, but because we are within sheet one, it knows that everything is going to be contained within this sheet. So uh, hopefully that does not cause any confusion in this video. But here we go, we're jumping straight in. So the first thing we need to do is define the range that contains our information we wish to copy. So for us, it's going to be obviously in column A, and it starts in row one and goes down to row five. So within quotations, all we need to do is select uh, A1. We're going to then use the colon, so you can use that and do the hold the shift button down and push the colon key. And then the last one we're going to need is A5 quotation and close brackets. So all of our information that we acquire here from row one to row five needs to be captured in this format here uh, in that range. And then very simply, all we need to do to copy it is go full stop copy. And that's it. And Excel has now identified that we want to get this range and we want to copy it. The re this first example we're looking at is by all, all mean, by all means the most simple and easiest way to use because all we now need to do is provide the destination that we wish to paste that information to. So for us, we're going to paste it into column D. But rather than having to now define row 1 to row 5 of column D, all we need to do is define the first cell we wish to start up or start pasting in. And then what it will do is to then just allow the rest of the, uh, the range to spill over into the desired or the required number of rows. So all we need to do here is go range, open brackets, quotation, D1, quotation, close brackets, hit enter, and you can see, obviously when you hit enter there, you know the information has been captured correctly because all the correct formatting of adding in capital letters where required has been done for you. If we now hit F5, or alternatively you can push this play button at the top here, you can see that our information has been copied from this desired range and it's been pasted into D1. And the benefit of using this okay, simple copy, um, copy and paste method is it copies and pastes everything in that range. And by that, I mean it's copied one of the values and it's also copied the formatting uh, what was applied to that first uh, set to copy. Okay, so the next one we're gonna look at is, say we wanted to copy all that information, but we didn't want to paste the formatting. So we literally just wanted the actual, the bare bones, just these, the values that obviously sit within here. So in order to do that, all we now need to do is, what I'll just do is uh, comment out this, so you can see it's now highlighted there, so it's not gonna do that um, copy and paste again. So what we'll do here is this time we'll go 
range, and we'll do the same range. So it's going to be a1 to a5 dot copy. And then on the new line, we can now simply put into here range, open brackets, and let's put this into G. So G1 dot, this time it's going to obviously be a bit different. So we can now have a range of options. So I've sort of skipped over there. So in the first one where we wanted to literally go straight copy and then paste to a range, you can see it was all on one row. This time we need to be onto a new row. So we've got the range, copy, so that's all exactly the same. But this time we need to go onto a new row, enter our desired range and where we want to paste our value. But this time we're going to do paste special. You can see what right there. And the next thing we need to do is now define what paste special do we want. So you might be familiar with paste special when using Excel, when you can do a right click and you go paste special and you can select some different options such as paste values as we want or paste formatting or any other one. And paste formats you can see is available to us here. So if we wanted to literally just paste the formatting, we could literally double click this one, hit enter. And you can see now if we hit F5, it was going to just paste uh, nothing but the formatting. So you can see all the formatting we've got here, even the bold text here and the underline is going to be pasted into G. But we don't actually want the paste formats. We actually want to do our paste values. So again, I'll just copy this once more. Then we can keep all these examples on the screen. And we're just going to copy off, uh, sorry, um, do that. So obviously those, those two lines of code won't be run this time. And let's now go to column J. So I'm just going to update it here. And this time what we want is get rid of Excel paste format. So we can do a space here and we want to do Excel paste values. And you can see what validation there, just make sure we go to values and then hit enter. And let me just, like um, if you hadn't noticed, I always put capital letters when I'm doing the references in these ranges. You don't have to do that. It's just out of choice. And I think sometimes it comes through a bit clearer on the screen as well. But if you'd wonder that as well, it doesn't matter, whatever your preference is. So we've now got Excel paste values. So if we run this, you can see that we have nothing but just the bare values pasted uh, into our desired range. So that is the three methods you can use. So you can either, you, well, it's not the only three methods you can use by no means. Obviously you can do various things with paste formatting, values, uh, and very many other options that you have available. But ultimately in this video, the first one we have is obviously this simple copy range. So this works great if you want to do both the values and retain the formatting. And it's the most simple copy paste that we have. The next one you can do is if you wanted just to paste the formats, as you can see in column here, column G, sorry. Then all you need to do is got your range copy on the first line. On the second line, you then need to define what you want to do. So for us, it's paste special and Excel paste formats. Quite simple and easy to remember. And lastly, if you want just the values, then you can obviously do range copy, as we've done here, but this time using the space paste special function of Excel paste values. One last one to cover off again is to, while we're still doing this, is another really simple way of doing the actual sort of copy paste is to actually say you want a sales value to equal the same as something else. So not quite a copy and paste, but obviously another way of doing it. So for this, what we're going to just do here is go range and let's say you can kind of just see column L on the screen. So we go range L1 dot value equals and let's say range um, A2, just so we get a number in there, uh, dot value, like that. So we're literally just saying that we want range L1, the value in range L1, so this value here, we want that to equal the same value in range A2, so that's gonna be here, so red. So if we now run that as well, F5, you can see it's equal to that value as well. So it's obviously not quite copy and paste, but it's another one that just came to mind and I thought I'd quickly show you. So there are our methods that we're gonna look at for using copy and paste. Obviously we only did a small range, we only did uh, up to what, five rows here. All you need to do to do a bigger range is obviously update the number of rows that you have in this reference, or so obviously you can increase or reduce those number of rows uh, depending on what you require. So the last thing to touch on, and let's just remove all this out so we can start afresh. So let's say we wanted to do this from within our module, as we've done in previous um, in previous videos. So we'll do sub um, 
example, uh, I don't know, so copy, paste, demo, just to call it something. So this time, what we want to do, so yeah, how would we define this calculate or this piece of code if we are doing it from the module? So we need to actually define the sheet. So pulling it all together and again from our last video. So if you haven't seen that, that's going to probably help bring some context to what I'm now going to do. So the first thing we need to do is define what sheet we're using. So for us, it's thin, and we're going to call this SHT1 as worksheet. Okay. We need to set, obviously, SHT1 is equal to sheets, and it's going to be sheet1. Sheet and then we can move down to here. So the first part we want to now say is how to copy that range. So for us, it's going to be sht1.range a1 to a5, close brackets dot copy. And the destination we want to populate it into, we'll put it into column C. So we need to now do sht1.range and c1, hit enter, run that macro, and you can see it's now copied for us. So the main importance when we're now coding this from the module or from a, a sheet different uh, to obviously the one that's contained in. So at the moment, if I go into sheet one, obviously the code is in here, the values we're trying to copy and paste are within this same sheet. That's why we don't need to define the sheet. If we're working in this workbook, a different sheet, or in this module, that's when we need to define what the sheet or the sheet reference, else Excel doesn't know where these values are stored that you want to copy and paste. So this is how you exactly do it when you're in this, in this dynamic. And lastly, level one we can look at is how to do it as values because we know uh, the format will be exactly the same. So this time we want to use sht1.range and again a1 to a5. So dot copy. Oh, if we do it, and then sht1.range and let's go to uh, e1, so range e1 dot paste special and then excel paste values is down here hit enter run this code and you can see it's now pasted again into column e but this time with just the values so this is i would say the more detailed how you need to be defining your ranges when you're working with different sheets uh, and probably what you're going to be using more often than not uh, and Obviously, yeah, to do your copy and paste. So there are simpler ways that we can do this when it comes to defining sheets and working with particular or working with a particular section of your code in a particular sheet. And we will be covering that off in a future video. So to make sure you don't miss that video, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell notification button so you're notified as soon as our videos come out. Uh, what you can also do is we've got another link below this video. So we've got one which gives you the link to the playlist uh, for this VBA series. So you can get all those videos together. And there's also another link in there as well, which gives you the link to all of our other videos. Um, if you want to look at other things like VLOOKUP, IF statements, pretty much anything and everything else that we've covered in there as well. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give the video a like. Uh, it be not only greatly appreciated by myself, but also very beneficial uh, for the all-important YouTube algorithm. So again, oh, one last thing, as I should say before, if you do have any questions or comments, please do just drop them below this video and I'll make sure I get back to them as soon as I can. Uh, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.